Topping the news this evening, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Peter Turnquest, says the government is redirecting budget allocations where necessary to get to the other side of the COVID-19 storm. He told ZNS News Thursday that the months ahead will mean that ministries will have to tighten their belts and that the government will take advantage of borrowing opportunities, though cautiously. COVID-19 or not, in less than three months' time, a new fiscal year will begin and the national budget allocations executed. But no surprise, it will be a lean plan laced with lingering uncertainty as revenue shortfalls continue their free fall. Finance Minister Peter Turnquest notes that already ministries and departments have been asked to tighten their belts and budgets are being shuffled to meet the most urgent demands. That means that the resources that we have to uh, provide the services uh, and assist the public uh, as necessary is also going to be uh, negatively affected and the only way to deal with that is uh, to, through borrowing. Uh, which has its own uh, um, negative consequences uh, if we go too far down that road. And we're not against that, uh, and we are certainly evaluating uh, from uh, our perspective uh, what level of support we need, what kind of support we may need uh, through borrowings or through other uh, um, um, available resources. Uh, but what we've said to uh, ministries and agencies is that we want you to look at your budgets very, very critically, unfortunately, like you said, once again, to see where there are priority items that can be reclassified, or that can be delayed uh, until we have an idea how long this crisis uh, is going to last. Social services will largely be the beneficiary of that scalping. Finalize our uh, hearings uh, with the Ministry of Social Services to determine their projections on what their needs will be. Uh, we know that this year, in addition to the uh, budget allocation that we gave them and the supplemental allocation following Hurricane Dorian, uh, that we're going to give them an additional $4 million uh, to take them from March through June, hopefully. Uh, of course, there has been an increased demand uh, for their services, even above what we had anticipated. And so it is likely that we're going to have to top them up uh, before the end of the, the fiscal year. In the meantime, the government continues its assistance payouts, $5 million today through NIB for the unemployed. Here's what's been done for small business. Up to today. Through the Small Business Development Center, we have uh, been able to support uh, 650 applicants uh, disbursing $3 million um, with $23.6 million in funding requests. Um, uh, in addition to being able to access credit uh, through bridging loans, uh, we have also made available to small businesses grants between $5,000 and $20,000 uh, to help them to uh, continue to support their payrolls. Uh, and to keep people employed. The finance ministry is hoping for an uptick in the main economic driver, tourism, in the first half of 2021. The deputy prime minister responded this way to how to balance U.S. President Donald Trump's eagerness to reopen the economy and restore normalcy among our main clients and the health concerns of the Bahamas. Without a vaccine or a uh, sh relatively sure uh, treatment protocol, uh, it is still going to be difficult for us to open our borders uh, to, to guests, certainly in the manner that we have done in the past. Uh, the CDC, uh, US CDC, uh, has already issued a uh, travel or cruise ship travel uh, um, ban or, or, or delay for 100 days. <clears throat> so. Um, there's going to be, uh, business will pick up again, it, it will come back. Uh, whether we have to live with COVID-19 or there is a treatment protocol, uh, life will return to some sense of normalcy at some point. The, the million dollar question is when. Um, but until such time, uh, we have to make sure that we continue to uh, remain, have remain in place those protocols to ensure the safety of, of, of the Bahamian uh, uh, people.